Hey, it's Jody, Jody Taylor of SnackySays.com. Welcome or welcome back to my podcast. I am out in the streets. No, I'm just joking. Um, I'm walking through a park. I'm out here getting these steps. Secret, not not so secret, secret. (laughs) Even though I work out and I walk um, a lot... A lot of times, like now, I'm walking and I'm like, I don't want to do this. Or I'm working out and I'm thinking, I don't want to do this. It's not so secret. I think I've spoken about this before. But this body of mine, my best body of work, um, it is my best work. It's not by accident. It's by design. It's doing stuff like this that I don't want to do. Walking and working out and drinking water. Do I fall off? Yes. Am I fantastic at it? No, but this is kind of my guiding principle. Um, So I thought I'd share that with you. (sighs) However, that is not the topic of today's episode. So this came to me... um, earlier or maybe even yesterday I was thinking years and years and years ago someone said to me why leave sure for unsure why leave sure for unsure and just to give you context he was referring to someone who left their job a steady consistent job paycheck guaranteed for something that wasn't quite guaranteed and I immediately thought to myself (laughs) because, you know, I take my chances every chance I get. Remember that song? Bonus points if you know that song. Um, If you know the lyrics from that song. It's a country song, hint. So why do it? Why leave sure for unsure? If I may, if you ever get the chance or when you get the chance, I think you should leave sure for unsure because sure is not true. It's a false construct. Nothing is for sure. There are plenty of people who had for sure jobs, who got fired, or who suddenly had to quit because of other demands in their life. Um, things, things just change. There's really no such thing as, as sure. And why not bet on yourself? Why not take a risk? Oh, my gosh, it's raining. Oh, might as well keep walking. So, it's really, really raining. (laughs) Oh, oh my gosh. Summer rain, I hope. Oh, summer's over. Okay, so, um, back to why you should leave, why you should at least consider leaving sure for unsure. Because number one, nothing is sure. It just feels like that. Um, Number two, why not take a risk? Why not bet on yourself? Try something new. So, that's three things. And four... Good things, amazing things come from taking chances and doing something different. That's, that's how we learn. What should I do? <laughs> should I try to run back? I'll never make it. Um, no matter which way I go, I'm going to get soaked by the rain. So I guess I'll just keep going. <sighs> okay, so... Um, I guess this is a short and sweet one, not because of the rain, but because I just wanted to share that thought with you. If there's something that you want to do and it's risky, take the risk. You never know where it might lead. Is there a possibility you will fail? Yes, absolutely. Will you learn something? 100%. Could it be even better than you ever thought? Yeah. Yeah, it can be. So why not? Why not do something different? You know, Lord knows I've failed a lot. I have tried so many different things. Uh, you know, you, you pick a category. Um, I've like, if it's money, if it's fitness, if it's career, I've tried so many different things. And I can't say that um, I've been a roaring success. <laughs> But I'm always willing to try. And like the great Maya Angelou once said, always one more time. It's not, you know, all or nothing. 
if you try something and you fail, if you leave a sure thing, whether that's a relationship or a job or a city, you can always pull a Yui. You can always make a U-turn. You can always start again, right? Um, like a phoenix. You know, sometimes things just burn to the ground and you got to rise from those ashes. That's okay. And, you know, I've spoken about this before. And when I say that's okay, I don't mean in a blase way. Like, yeah, failing is great. It, it hurts. And it's so uncomfortable. And I wish there was a way that I could just reach the mountaintop of success and that you could too, that we could just snap our fingers. But as far as I know, at least in my experience, it doesn't work that way. So I am, I am <laughs> again, and I think I've spoken about this before, I am setting you up for success in case you haven't, uh, in case like me, you haven't until recently um, thought of it this way or through sheer experience, <laughs> you know, life experience. I, I, I just think if you leave sure for unsure and you think to yourself, hey, there's a chance maybe a good chance, maybe a 50-50 chance, maybe a little chance. There's a chance I might fail. You'll be so much happier in the in the process <laughs> because you're building it in to your experience. You know, that is something that I wish I had baked in and built in to all of the things I've tried over the years, whether it was a new course, a new job, a new city, a new country, you know, um, and anything, anything, just going someplace different. If I, I wish I had had that um, mindset, um, but I didn't, and now I do, <laughs> and it's made all the difference. I still get dis discouraged. I still feel down sometimes, uh, but now it's different because it's like, okay, this is part of the the process. At any rate, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you needed to hear it, there it is. There it was. Oh, it stopped raining. And I'm still walking. All right, I think I have 5,000 steps to go. So let me get back to walking. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day or a great night or a great evening. Um, I hope you had something yummy to eat or that you are about to. Thank you for listening to the Snacky Says podcast featuring moi, Jody Taylor. I'd love to hear from you. You can always reach me at Jody at SnackySays.com. That's J-O-D-D-I-E at SnackySays.com. Thanks for listening to the podcast. And remember, take chances. Take chances. If there's something you want to do, just go for it. Why not? Life is too short and too sweet not to go for it. Take care.